the only thing I wanted to really choose was to go into art. Glass, it can be a craft and it can reach a level that you can call art. It's, which to me, art <laughs> has still uh, an idea of uh, a more a spiritual level than what you call craft, a useful craft. The play between the light and the material, it transfers, it becomes uh, alive somehow by that touching of the light and it leads to the transparency of, of the medium that leads to the light and um, makes every little inch vibrate. I often have worked uh, abstract so that uh, in this case you work with linear movements, you work with colors, uh, the format, the space, the placing of the colors, the interactions between one color and another, mm, which, are some, it, which is something that the um, Bauhaus in Germany, and the, uh, you know, it was stressed in the last century from the Russian supremacists on to the Bauhaus school. Some of my work has been in a, in a sandblasted form, which I started working with on a more serious level in the 90s. I was sandblasting and sandblasting. But I also work with mosaics as a, as a possibility to put in buildings or outside buildings. But a mosaics reflects the light. It doesn't let the light come through. I wanted to do something where people pass by. I, I, the idea of just uh, painting and perhaps be lucky to exhibit somewhere and uh, perhaps getting to a museum, at that time did not attract me. I wanted to do something which had an actual um, accessible potential. Went into steel for a while and um, as it has more subst you know, substance, it can actually carry itself, it doesn't collapse. And uh, So I like the steel, the idea of steel. And in the series of my, uh, my people, sculptures, was the idea of humans not being just singularly living. They rely on each other and somehow. And so in some movement, I put them together in but always like in a supporting position. And uh, somehow uh, that uh, rings true to me. We grew up on a little island called Langeland, which is in the Baltic Sea. And uh, it's uh, south of the middle island called Funen. So it's sort of like a long stick, uh, seven miles or kilometers wide and 60 kilometers long. So it was a very small island and it took like an hour when I was a child with the ferry boat to get to the next bigger town or island. So that we were quite isolated. If you traveled in uh, Italy or again, southern countries, every little town had its places of identity because of art. You create like a little story, a little drama with a, it's between the colors and the forms and that drama <laughs> is something that is a necessity for an artist to experience over and over. Strangely enough, it, uh, it's like eating a fruit. You, you have a, a joy out of it. And so composing the picture is, is uh, that is the excitement that I need <laughs> and which I try to put into my pieces whenever I work. And if I don't do it for some time, I become some, a restless, something is needing. And I guess that's the mind of an artist. <laughs>